the Department of Homeland Security will run out of money on February 28th unless Congress passes a bill to fund the agency. What's the problem? The House version of the bill would block Obama's new immigration policy, which has caused Senate Democrats to filibuster. The Department of Homeland Security, or DHS, is massive. Created in the wake of 9-11, it includes FEMA, the Coast Guard, Border Patrol, the Secret Service, and of course, the TSA. So what happens if the DHS is shut down? Out of the nearly 230,000 DHS employees, 200,000 of those, about 85%, are still required to show up for work. They are classified as essential, meaning we need them to keep working because they keep us safe. So even without funding, our national security is probably not at risk. But during a shutdown, the people protecting us will be working pro bono because none of those essential workers will get paid until Congress passes the funding bill. But the lapse in funding will affect more than just paychecks. DHS will stop training thousands of law enforcement officers and stop handing out grants to local and state governments. The irony here is that even with a DHS shutdown, the office that processes immigration applications, which is the whole cause of the shutdown, would remain open because it's almost entirely funded by application fees. It doesn't need money from Congress.